My name's Amy. I'm an oral surgery consultant. Uh, sorry, I'm that's such a lie. I'm a registrar. I don't know where that came from. Uh, and uh, oh, hi, Mr. Lloyd. Sorry, consultants walking by. Uh, and we're actually doing a very uh, similar project to the last presentation that we have just heard. So we're talking about virtual clinics. Um, so uh, they uh, have made it from uh, from Nottingham down to us, or from us up to Nottingham, and and hopefully around the rest of the country, quite rightly. Uh, so. Uh, a virtual clinic, what is it? So it's exactly what we're doing right now. It's uh, it's this chat uh, where we can do it with patients rather than them coming all the way into the hospital to see us. So although it's in lieu of face-to-face, -face, it's still face-to-face, -face, obviously just via video. So significantly more uh, convenient for patients. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so I'm sure everybody uh, here has had a hospital appointment before. And how many times, you know, do you uh, have enormous stress because uh, you're, uh, it's very busy and you're running late and, uh, and then you've still got to find a parking space and you've got to pay for that parking space? Or perhaps you need childcare or, um, you know, it's uh, uh, a pandemic and, you know, nobody is allowed to go out. So uh, uh, we need to still be able to run our hospital appointments. Now, for, uh, in my department, which is uh, the dental and maxillofacial, uh, we also have a, a paediatric dental department, which is a very busy and uh, a very thriving department. And so for uh, hospital dental care of paediatric patients, there might be lots of special special care patients, things like autism, and it can be really difficult to get them to their appointment on time. So this is particularly helpful when they're in a really comfortable environment. Uh, so hopefully next slide will be a, uh, a video clip. Uh, for you to watch when uh, they've come to see our our patient. Your breathing, I think, was one of the issues. Is that right? This isn't just a Skype or FaceTime call. Donna has logged into the hospital website, entered a virtual waiting room, and is having her regular consultation from her home near Crawley. So I've got a spinal cord injury, so the extra appointment to speak this through was obviously needed. <coughs> But doing it this way, I just oh, I think it's an excellent idea. Um, it was flagged up that there might be more to discuss with Donna. And rather than have to bring her in to have a face to face appointment, this has worked really well and saved, saved the journey because we don't tend to need to do a physical examination. It's much more about discussion. There are times when making it to a hospital for an appointment can be stressful. This won't replace face-to-face -face consultations. The patient has to agree, the doctor has to deem it appropriate. And the trial across a number of trusts in England builds on experiences in the Scottish Highlands and Australia. We were initially given five specialties to trial it in, and um, that started with pre-assessment, urology, diabetes, rheumatology and gynaecology. Um, but that's spread, and NHSI has allowed us now to open up to use it in as many specialties as we want and we're sort of seeing lots of innovative ways that it can be used. And the next department to see an advantage, paediatric dentistry. The referral may miss out some information which is crucial, so some medication they might be on. And if you've got that uncertainty, rather than bring them all the way here and saying, oh actually do you know what, I needed to know X, Y and Z, they're in their home, they're in their comfortable environment, they could discuss what they truly feel. 300 patients so far have chosen to use the technology, with other trusts joining across England and the trial running until December 2020. Uh, lovely, so yes, yeah, so you could see that, that patient was really happy with it and, and they work really well for us. So uh, within SASH we have uh, lots of departments who are already live uh, and this has been going for about 18 months now. Um, for my department, I say I'm, I'm dental and maxillofacial. So for me as a surgeon, you know, I ultimately need my patients to be with me so I can operate. Um, but uh, we have a huge scope of patients. And even in mine, um, there are uh, many patients that we can see via a virtual clinic. So things like reviews or um, simple results and things that are really helpful. Uh, next slide, please. So we have a dedicated team at SASH to uh, help with our virtual clinics and they have created these really easy step-by-step -step guides about how to log into the service, how to use it. And then we use patient focus groups and structured interviews and, um, with our patients to get regular, uh, to get the feedback on uh, initial creation of all of these and then to get the regular feedback as while we're using it. So we can modify everything 
Um, and the good thing about everything being digital is that everything is very simple to modify, which is great. Next slide, please. Um, so our, uh, our patient experience uh, when we have uh, done all our interviews and we've done all our questionnaires uh, has been really positive. So most people are able to set up uh, the, the clinics on their own um, using whichever device they feel more comfortable and um, they feel that the actual uh, consults themselves are really helpful and that they don't feel that they're missing out on anything and um, they're saving a lot of travel time so ours is like three hours travel time uh, and that's because uh, East Surrey Hospital is in the countryside so you know although it's got good transport links it, you still have to wait for a bus and take a bus or, or you know, get a car through the country. So it, it's a little bit more difficult. We have a really big catchment area because we have some very specialised units. So as I was saying earlier, the paediatric dental unit is uh, it's either at uh, East Surrey Hospital or you have to go up to London if you're basically from um, Kent or Surrey. So it's a huge catchment. Um, so ultimately, 96% uh, feel that their experience had improved and they, they were really happy to do these uh, consultations. Um, so although uh, we understand not everybody wants these and we know that some people do want to come to the hospital and they want to have a chat with their consultant or their doctor or their, their whoever they're coming in to see. And that's fine because these aren't replacements. Uh, these are something to make it more convenient when it's appropriate for both uh, the clinician and for the patient as well. So some do need an exam, some needs x-rays, scans, um, but we can also use this as a bit of a, a triage system in a sense. So um, lots of patients, unfortunately, forget to bring things like their list of medicines in or they're not sure uh, of certain details. So by having that in, in a video consult, they can then come in for their face to face if it's appropriate. And we, we don't have a wasted consultation where some of that detail still needs to be found out. But we're very happy, 96% is a really fantastic number. And now what we have to do is uh, continue to uh, keep getting the feedback and keep improving. So uh, uh, next slide, please. I think that's the very end. So thank you ever so much. And uh, I'm thankful I didn't have to run away. <laughs>